we're going to give you a sneak preview of the Swift Playhouse Apple TV app. We're planning to present all of our screencasts with this app going forward. When the app is released, you'll be watching a show about making the app inside the app. Inception, oh my god. Well, not yet. The app is ready for you, but we can't get it to you until after the various operating systems come out of beta. Katie, you've been working on the design for this one. What's cool about it? Well, a couple cool things is the new light and dark appearance modes. That's new for tvOS 10. And then the layered images with parallax effect. Which are not new to tvOS, but since tvOS is not very old, they're still mysterious. Oh. New in tvOS 10, you, the user of an Apple TV, can switch your Apple TV to the dark or light appearance at any time from the general preferences. But you, the app developer, can use the keyboard shortcut Shift-Command-D at any time from the simulator. Now, you can opt to have your app automatically change with the user setting, and if you're developing with Xcode 8 and for tvOS 10, this will be the default behavior. You can also choose to always display as dark or always display as light using the info.plist setting called user interface style, but who would want to opt out of having Metroid Prime 2 style light and dark world versions of their app? Not us. What aspects are automatically changed for you? Well, if you're using UIKit and you're using defaults like the default background or the default text color, those will change between Apple's light and dark defaults automatically. That's what's happening with our episode title here. Also, if you're using the visual effects views, Apple has added a new category of blur styles called adaptive effects. And this will switch your effect between light and dark for the regular style and extra dark and extra light for prominent. But our app has more exciting differences than that. <laughs> How are we doing the background changes? Uh, you can actually deal with custom light and dark appearance in really much the same way you might account for size classes on iOS. You can use UI trait collection and code, which is what we would do if we decided we needed different collection view cell images for each mode. But all I've had to do so far to build a decent experience is add customizations in the Interface Builder Inspector. Like up here, I've added a specific background for the Interface Dark Mode. So really, it works very similarly to, to how you'd be used to dealing with size classes. You can preview light and dark appearance in Interface Builder with the interface style buttons at the bottom. We're not sure what's up with the Vary for Light and Dark Style button. It doesn't seem to do anything. Of course, the new blur styles weren't working for me until Beta 6, so maybe the button will work in the future? Maybe I just haven't figured it out yet. But uh, check out the What's New in TVOS video from the WVWDC 2016 for more on the shiny and new on Apple TV. Let's talk about layered images.